Hello, and welcome to another episode where I show you how to code the Sega Genesis. In this episode, I'll show you how to set fire to Sonic using some pretty simple but clever code. As usual, I've zipped up all the files you need, this time gamehut4.zip, linked in the description. Check out previous episodes to see how you use these files. Last year, I made a mega demo video showing off a bunch of Sega Genesis effects I'd written, and one of them was this fire effect. I recently made a Yule Log video using this effect that I scaled up to full screen, and that got me thinking about whether I could do the same scaling on the actual Sega Genesis. First I did a bit of housekeeping on the Game Hut shell code, breaking off the rings code from last time into its own file, and adding a new file called flame.s for this new code to live. I added function calls to the main loop called draw flame and conv flame, as well as an init flame. I'll explain what they do later. So then I got the old flame code working in the Game Hut shell and it looks like this. Which is fun, but I really want full screen flames now. So let's take a look at how this code works. At the top of the code lives the variables and various definitions, and then we have the init flame code, which initialises the variables we're going to use and clears and sets up various tables and workspaces. Skipping down we get to the draw flame code. This code draws objects into a small virtual screen that are then smeared and propagated using an algorithm to produce the fire effect. This virtual screen is then converted into a pixel format which works for the genesis and then drawn to our screen. The code that converts the virtual screen is here, called ConvFlame. This is the code I've changed to try and make the effect full screen. Instead of converting the virtual screen to pixels, I've converted it to 8x8 character tiles that can be written to the play field. This is actually not only faster, but allows more simulated colours for the effect and interesting variances which I'll show you soon. Back to the draw flame code. This first part swaps buffers. There are actually two virtual screens, one which is being drawn to and the other which is being displayed. Having two buffers avoids screen tearing of the effect. This next piece of code moves around the small objects which will end up getting smeared to produce the fire effect. Here's a look at them moving without any smearing. You can see them turning on and off as I press the button to produce the effect. So how does this become fire? Well, here's the clever bit. This piece of code runs through the contents of the virtual screen and applies a simple mathematical algorithm to each pixel. It effectively adds to the pixel the contents of the pixels to the left, right and directly above, and then divides the result down using a lookup table which is generated here. This code is called just once during initialization, but the table it generates can speed up the calculation of the effect and allow more complex effects to be tested as well. So here's what that screen smearing does to just one of the small fire generating objects. And here's a whole bunch of them. Now because this effect is being drawn using 8x8 character tiles, we can change what these characters look like to get different effects. This line in the code copies the graphics we want to use into video RAM. It currently uses Flame Graphics 1, and this is defined further down in the code here, which is a list of definitions for the 32 tiles used by the effect. The effect uses a simulated 32 colours. Here's the effect on a black background. but I've also defined another set of tiles which give a different effect. Changing the line to use Flame Graphics 2 instead produces this. And of course we can have the scrolling background and sonic dropping rings everywhere at the same time, all still running at 60 frames a second. So, have a play with the code. You can change the palette in GameHut.S to get different effects. It uses palette 3. Or you can change the graphics used like I did. Or even have a play with the algorithm and see what kind of effects you can get going. Let me know what effects you prefer in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.